Ah, Prom Night 1992. The theme was non-consensual sex with Hedge- Ho! Oh, hi there! I didn't see you there. Well, I spent the night waiting for this Doctor Strange trailer to finally premiere, and guess what? It premiered! So I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> oh boy, this trailer. Um, after like month, I, I kind of figured that we were gonna get a trailer um, after those set fo those official set photos were released, and uh, we saw um, we saw those images, and I was pretty sure after that I was like, yeah, we're probably gonna get a trailer in the next week or so, and. Sure enough, we got a trailer in the next week or so. Now, the trailer doesn't... F I don't feel like it gives a lot away, like most of these Marvel first trailers do, is that... Uh, like it, it, ugh. I'm not saying that Marvel gives away all their stuff in, in the first trailer. What I mean is, is that they don't. They have the tendency to, in these teaser... In these first trailers, they just give you enough to show, hey, this is what we're doing, check it out. <laughs> so, in this trailer... Um, the it pretty much follows the same story as Do, as um, the Doctor Strange origin. Stephen Strange was once a great uh, great neurosurgeon. He has an accident. His hands are damaged, and he is he is basically uh, a ruined man until he finds his way to the Ancient One and eventually becomes the sor uh, the Sorcerer Supreme. What I like about this is that this is going to be the first time Marvel's officially delving into magic, and this can open the door to the other magical Marvel stuff, namely Ghost Rider, Werewolf by Night, um, Tomb of Dracula, and Blade. So it just kind of kicks open the door for everything else. With Thor, they were saying, oh, it's not really magic, they're just aliens. So this is the first time we're officially going super deep into magic. Anyway, so... What did I want to say about this trailer? Oh yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I think my favorite scene is like um, when he's talking to the Ancient One, who, by the way, I was at first I was kind of like, what, we're making the Ancient One a woman? And then I thought about it more, I was like, it doesn't... Because the Ancient One has kind of like in some comics, in some iterations, have said that he has, you know, been around so long that he's changed genders at points. He, has, he had the power to change genders in some iterations of Doctor Strange Origins. They kind of say, yeah, he's kind of had this... He's been around so long, he's kind of been both man and woman. So I was kind of like, you know what, I'm fine with it. Marvel's never had a bad casting, so I'm, I'm cool with it. Same with um, making Baron Mordo um, African-American. I'm like, all right, I'm cool with it. Um, again, you know, I got a point to... I mean, yeah, they changed him from a European sorcerer to African-American, but I don't care. I mean, look at Phil Urick and a few other... You know, Heimdall and a few other places. Um... So, yeah, I'm cool with this. <laughs> but no, my favorite scene in this fucking trailer is when he's, t he's pretty much insulting the, um, <laughs> the Ancient One, and, he's, and she's like, all right, boom, punch the soul out of him. <laughs> I thought that was all I, I, I literally went, oh, shit. And then it kind of got, here's the, and I know some people are going to make this joke right off the bat, so I might as well just go, come out and say it. it the trailer gets a little Inception-y. It just gets a little tad Inception-y. And, yeah. There are moments in here where it does feel like you're watching Inception. Even the music itself feels like it's out of Inception. But you know what? I think it's more like um, uh, what the Ancient One's talking about in the trailer where... Um, there's more than one possibility. There's more, to, more to these worlds than what you know. The more to this world than what you know. So she's more or less opening his mind to all the possibilities. I don't really think it's going to be a physical thing that we're. It may be, but I think it's more like a mental thing where he's, he, she's opening his, uh, Stephen's mind to the possibilities of the universe, and I think that's really cool. That's like cool symbolism because you do see like this little dot falling, and he falls back in front. He's like, teach me. <laughs> yeah, I'm already sold as, as with Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. I'm already sold on him. I mean, when they first announced... It's kind of funny because... Um, I don't know... Uh, I talked about this when um, Benedict Cumberbatch was first announced to play Doctor Strange. Um, I did a video a long time ago with um, Dan Torrey, Torrey GNR1, and we talked about this, and I made this fun joke of, like, how about Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange? You, and that was like a year and a half ago. Few, like a year and a half later, boom, Benedict Cumberbatch is Doctor Strange. And I went, oh shit, I predicted, I predicted the future. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. So, yes. Um, 
what I liked about uh, what also I liked about this is that it doesn't show you uh, it didn't show you I can't uh, um, I cannot pronounce the guy's name um, but the actor who played Hannibal in the Hannibal TV se series he's the villain in this movie um, they don't show you him at least I don't think they do I don't think they show you him in this trailer um, but it does show you enough to show you the magical realms and I'm kind of hope and it does give you a quick glimpse of the classic red cape we already know he's wearing the costume. We, get, we already know that he's going to be wearing um, the suit in this trailer, in this movie, um, right out the gate. We already know that he's going to be wearing um, the classic tra the classic cape and the blue suit. We, I'm kind of hoping we get to see the Eye of Agamotto. We did that's something I don't think we saw in this trailer. I watched the trailer like three times. I was like, I don't see the Eye of Agamotto, but I'm pretty sure they're saving it for either another trailer or the movie itself. Because, yeah, this fir the first Marvel trailers are more like, hey, check this out, guys. And the second one shows you a bit more. And, yeah. Uh, what else did I want to say? Um, I'm kind of wondering if we're going to have Baron Mordo evil right out the gate. Because we do see him in the trailer. But um, in the set photos, we see that him and uh, Baron... We see Strange and Mordo actually together. Um, as allies, same with Wong. I think, yeah, I think there were, Wong was in the um, was in the tra it was in the uh, set photos as well. And they're clearly fighting something. Maybe it's Dormammu. It's definitely because we haven't really been uh, um, again. I cannot pronounce this, but the actor playing um, the villain in this movie, he hasn't been announced as Dormammu or Nightmare or whoever. He hasn't been announced as the villain. We're all just kind of assuming he's either Dormammu or Nightmare. We don't really know who it is, but I'm guessing it's it's something, and maybe Dormammu, or whoever it is, like, I'm betting Mordo is not the villain. There's gonna be some major animosity between him and Strange. I'm pretty sure they're saving Mordo for a later trailer, is like, uh, going, this is like his start to the darks, uh, to going down the darker path. That's what I'm kind of thinking right now. We'll see him as an ally, like, okay, we gotta work together to fight this thing, but when we're done, I'm done with you. So... That's what I'm. That's kind of the theory I got right now, and yeah. Not much else to say other than I did like the little um, the jumps in between his past and his present. I really liked how that was uh, done, of showing like, oh, I had everything and lost it in a heartbeat, like <laughs> just as he does in surgery. So I really thought that was like I thought that was some cool stuff. Um, all in all. Really good trailer. What more can I say? I absolutely loved it. So you guys tell me, what did you guys think of the Doctor Strange tra trailer? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Just comment below. Let me know. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.